Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Guppy Boy, and I'm back at y'all with another video. And today is gonna be kind of a different video. And, and excuse the the rain outside, if y'all can hear that. It's raining where I'm at right now. Don't mind it. And I dig. <laughs> Yo, a lot of y'all hit me up in the comments talking about my fire alarm. Uh, I done already done stated that and made that clear in, in some older videos. Man, look, I'm sorry, but. Like, I have a ceiling that is really high in the fucking air. I don't have a ladder to get up there. So, hey, I have to, like, report it to my apartment complex, and they'll come fix it when they get to come fix it. So, yeah, that's out of my hands, because technically I can't really go up there and change it, even if I wanted to. So, not going to get into that. That's a long, different other story. But getting back to this video, this video is going to be kind of a different video. So, <clears throat> as y'all know, like, what my page is, I've been showcasing a lot of customs and stuff like that. And I wanted to, like, I was I was originally going to review uh, this figure right here, which really isn't a figure. It's a model kit from Kota Bukia. And that is the... I forgot her fucking name. Hold on. Let's see if it's right here on the thing. And and yes, I'm sniffing because I'm I just got I'm still getting over like a I think a cold or something. Her name is Madoka Yuki. So I was gonna originally review Madoka Yuki, her swimsuit version, because this just came out, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do a whole different other video. And this video is going to be talking about figure bodies y'all can use for customizing and kick bashing. Because I know like people, they look at my channel. Well, yeah, they're starting to look at my channel and they look at uh, who, who's another. Um, oh, yeah. They look at my twins. Um, my twin channel uh, does what it likes. My Lou twin, my brother from another mother. They look at Moonshine and other uh, people who do like, you know, like anime kick bashes. Like, and one thing there is not a lot of videos of is anime figurine kick bashes, unless it's like building a model kit. And you know, some people don't want to build model kit. They want like, they want actual like figures and stuff like, like that. So, and then other customizing videos are pretty much like Marvel Legends and domestic stuff and you know you know we don't we don't you know we don't we don't fuck with domestic figures and shit like that unless it's like some shit we can use such as robot bad guys and 90s haircut anime hentai bad guy guy villain type characters but that's about it but okay yeah so pretty much in this video i'm gonna be showcasing this uh madoka figure which she is a pretty dope figure. And okay, getting into the second part of the video. And like I said, in the first half, this is a really cool figure. She can do pretty much anything you want her to do, and it will make for a really good kick bash. But in this video, I was, like I said, I was going to review her, but we're, I'm going to tell y'all. Certain figures y'all can use for kick bashes when it comes to anime girls and anime customs and anime guys. Because I know a lot of y'all want to make anime guy figures. So, getting her out the way, we already seen her. And I will say, before I put her to the side though, I will say that I don't know what the line is called, but there is a anime is type girl figurine body, excuse me, that you can use. They came with dresses. It was like a set of three, and they came with like different colored dresses, like red, blue, and I want to say green. And they was like cloth dresses, like fabric dresses. But <laughs> I don't have those, so I ain't really going to get off into those. But if you can look those up... Those will be some really cool ones to go with. And that's just if you're into model kits. But if you don't like to build the bodies, 
I will say the other best the other best uh thing to go with would be and y'all already know if if anything it's the only thing to go with boom the TB League Fison body and this is my I ain't going to lie to y'all this right here is my definitive body to go to when I want to make an anime girl custom because for one over the past few years, I kind of just fell out of love with joints, especially joints on when it comes to clothing and stuff like that. Now, I've done gotten to where I kind of tolerate it on certain characters, like say, I love it on my second ex, uh, Asagi Igawa figures. Like, I love it on this figure. Like, but that's just because this is like a skin tight outfit. Now, I will also say, <coughs> I like it on, and they're all the way on the other side of the room, and I don't feel like going to get them. I like them on my Chung Lee and my Cami figure, and I like them on certain characters. But over the past year or two, I fell in love with seamless bodies and fabric clothing. I don't know why, it just looks a lot more pleasing, like aesthetically pleasing. And on top of that, I already don't went over it in plenty of the videos. You can do, <coughs> and excuse me for coughing, you can do so much more with these bodies. Just look at this. And she fell. You can do so much more with these. And just look at that. They look so so aesthetically pleasing but like hold on i'm gonna I'm move the camera back it up so you can get you a full view move him out the fucking way just just look at that right there like it's so beautiful and yes you can you already know you can get all the the different poses and stuff like that you can do all of these crazy anime girl poses rather they be rather they be lewd or they be action poses and stuff like that like look at this you can like bro look at this you can't do that with no other toy line like people call me crazy for collecting nothing but the fights and bodies especially a couple of my friends but like they don't see the vision they don't see the vision bruh like anybody who like all of my little brothers, my little brothers in the Citadel, bruh. Yo, like my my brother, like see, my brother does what it likes. He sees the vision. He sees the vision. My friend, my other friends that I play with on PlayStation, they don't see the vision. But like, bruh, just look at this. This is just amazing. You can't do this with like that's what like what you can't do this with like most anime girl figures. And the only type of figures you can really do stuff like this with, like they got certain bodies like this, but it's mainly for like Western comic book type characters. This right here is just beyond amazing. Now, getting into another body that y'all can use. And for all of my thick thighs save lives brothers out there, and and my 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 uh, my thick thighs save lives sisters, because we do have there are girls out there that collect that collect figures like this. It ain't just it ain't just us brass. We do have female collectors, and a body y'all can use for all of my thick waifu lovers. Boom! There you go. Now, I understand some people, they don't like the whole Chinese knockoff and third party stuff, but hear me out. If you know how to mod and do the right stuff, you can make this into a great figure. And that's what I did with this. Her legs were wobbly. I went in with some super glue. I fixed it up. She can hold her pose. Only thing I got to do now is pretty much just kind of like paint the stockings. I'm going to paint them probably black because I have black paint, which is 
like which is literally like right here on camera. So I'm gonna paint that up. And let me y'all see it. I, I've showed her plenty of times. Just just look at this. You don't have enough anime girls with this type of build. Or just women in general, like female figures in general with this type of build. And if you do, like I said, it's it's through the cloth, like it's the, it's the clothing. It's the clothing and you really can't really do any much poses with them. But guess what? I can do poses with this. Like I can do, I can have her hitting the anaconda pose, bruh. The anaconda pose, bruh. Like right here. Right there. And I can't have her doing action poses. And that's that figure. Now, another figure that you can use, because it ain't just about all only just the females. We have a lot of people out there that want to like kick bash and create guy characters. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, the best figure you can use. To create you a male figure will be this right here. And this right here is my boy Kota. Y'all done see, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all done seen him in a couple of pictures. This right here is my guy that I done made, I want to say back in 2020. The first body I had him on was like the swimsuit male Figma body figure. But I ended up, I ended up uh, getting rid of it. Because it was, I didn't really care for it all that much. It was cool, but I wanted him to be a little bit more bigger and taller. And then I got the One Shot Toys Korama figure. And when I got that figure, I looked at the body and I said, hmm. And I took the neck off, did the little modifications. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like I did the little modification with the neck peg. I took like, I took like Cosma, the Figma Cosma neck, and then I modded it out. Hold on, to show you, get me like a little pointer to show y'all. I modded it out, and I literally sanded down to where it could fit that hole right there. Now, cause I don't know why, but it's like great. I want to say this is Great Toys, which is like a Chinese toy company in China. I think they also work on the Dyson, like they, that's where Dyson model gets their male bodies from. I'm not completely sure, but, and this right, this right here is pretty much just a knockoff body coon from SH Figure Arts. So, I mean, if you can still get your hands on like the authentic, like body coons from SH Figure Arts, you can, you can probably use those, but this right here. If you can just get your hands on like at least a few Karamas and then do the, find you some figures to do the little neck modification, this right here will give you the perfect body for your generic average anime guy character. And he can pretty much do every pose. He can get in every pose. He can ab crunch. He got the bicep swivel. He got all of that, bruh. And honestly, I am super satisfied with this body. Now I will have to find better clothes for them, but I need to find I need to find like actual like clothes like cloth and that and that's gonna lead into the next thing I'm gonna talk about finding the right size clothes for them because if you get on eBay like there are cloth clothes but it's like clothes that's made for like big figures like Marvel Legends and Mezco which is all of those are meh. They're like they're cool if you're into those. Like if you're into like comic books and Marvel and whatever Masco wants to be. Like it's it's cool if you're into those. But for like all of my anime characters, like all my anime lovers and my anime lovers, y'all want to make y'all want to make like anime characters, anime kick bashes, and have them look cool and actually look good. I mean, yeah, you can kick bash a Figma. And a SH Figure Arts, but if if you're not good at painting, and that's part of the reason why I did this too, because I'm not good at painting for shit. I'm be honest for y'all. I can't I can't kick bash a figure like <laughs> I can't take a head like 
this right here, put it on a body like this, and then just call it a custom. Like if I have like a certain look for her, like I, I, I'm not good at painting. I can't, I can't paint and have it look good and stuff like that. So my my great solution for why I did the whole seamless Fison body was because I can buy the clothes and put the clothes on the figure and I can get this or better yet I can get this right here which is Nana Mimisuki on her bike and like I said I need to find some some clothes that can fit him like there are clothes, but they all they're all big too like too big to fit like the generic anime size character. Which honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie, which I feel like we're finna kinda get cross like cross over that bridge because Figma is put is starting to put out cloth clothing, which is a shit ton like a shit ton better because I ain't finna lie to y'all. Like a lot of the cloth clothes, if it like if it ain't come if it's yeah, I ain't finna lie to y'all. If it's not Kurt, like coming from certain people on eBay, the cloth clothes that other companies tend to make tend to be trash. I'm I'm just being honest. And certain other third party like companies that make cloth clothing is tend to be like kind of hard to find. And Figma, they are literally starting to make cloth clothes that we can actually use for kick bashes. And. I feel like that's gonna I feel like that's really finna bring a lot to the to the game of this and customizing and stuff like that. Now until until we get there, the best person I can actually recommend if you want to get into doing stuff like this, if you want to buy like cloth clothes, look up GPS lot on eBay. He makes really good clothes. Now I will say they are a tad bit too. They might be a tad bit too big because he he tends to make them for like Mezco and Marvel Legends, but that those but like I can't you can't really blame him because that's like his that that's really the main people who like buy from him are those type of collectors. But he does have certain clothes that will fit that will fit a SH Figure Arts and a Figma blank body. Like and I, in fact, and he does got certain stuff that will fit a Fison body, so he does do those type of things. But you're gonna really have to search for it because the majority of it is Marvel Legends and Mezco, and mainly male and, and mainly a lot more male characters. Like it, it's gonna kind of be kind of hard to find a little bit of females. But he does make really good clothing. If you want to get into doing stuff like this, get on eBay, search up GPS lot and get your fabric clothes from him because he is the best person that really makes these and honestly i ain't even a lot of y'all I, I think he's like the only person who actually makes these because i'll be looking for other people who be doing cloth clothing and i really can't find nobody else so yeah hit up gps lot if you want cloth clothing if you want to get into this type of stuff now that being said i don't went over all the bodies you can use for your customs you can use model kits you can use your one-shot toys and on top of that there are other third-party brands that are making blank bodies that you will be able to use for kick bashes and customs follow 5k toys they're posting people daily but the only thing is you don't know when you don't you don't know when those when, when those figures are gonna pretty much drop but Hey, I will say this. We're st like it's starting to get out there now. <clears throat> if you want to make a really good anime girl figure, I pretty much recommend using a Fison body or if you if you feel like doing putting yourself through the whole modding and customizing the whole the whole thing right there. If you feel like going in and having to use super glue and paint and all of that, to try and tighten up joints and stuff like that to get through the floppiness, I will say 
by some of these third party, well, not third party, some of these knockoff uh, figures that ha that are like this Minase body. If you can't get your hands on the authentic version. So, with that being said, like I showed y'all the different bodies y'all can use. You have one shot toys, Karama. You have TB Lee Fison bodies. And then you have the Minase from Second Acts. And TB Lee, they make different sizes of bodies. I, I, I forgot to mention this. Like, you got this right here. And I don't know why I got that in the way. You got this right here. And which is a whole different body from, and I'll show, I'll show y'all the difference. Hold on. There's a really whole difference here. They, they make different size. This is more, this is more uh, anime-ish girl right here. This is a little bit more like kind of, I guess you could say realistic, like toned down, realistic body for female characters, which in my opinion, still kind of anime-ish because they make figures for like certain size, pretty much like, like certain size. And they really only, the heads really only match up with anime girl heads. I ain't gonna lie to you. So... You got this, like a smaller body. This is like a medium build. This is like a large bust. And then the first one is like a muscular bust, basically. I, I had the first one. I don't got it no more. And yeah, so they got like three of them that you can use. And with that being said, the only downfall to using the, the TB League bodies is that they do attract dirt. I'm not going to lie to y'all. They do get dirty very easily, if y'all can see that. They do attract dirt, so you will have to constantly clean it, like every maybe week or so. So yeah, it, that does happen. So best thing you can use is soap and water, like soap and hot water. Get you like a towel, wrap it around your finger and just scrub up the dirt off. That's pretty much what you will have to do. But other than that, those are the most perfect bodies you can use. And with that being said, I showed you all of the different bodies you can use for customs. This has been your boy Guppy Boy, and I am signing Alto.